We went through yesterday, which was the, the kind of uh, rest day, where um, that's when people drown, apparently, and some people count how many those are, but uh, thankfully, not nobody drowned yesterday. That was a good thing. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, it's, it's great to be here this morning, uh, celebrating the day that Jesus did rise from the dead. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today, um, and so the kids, this is for you guys. Uh, we were going to have a little bit of a... Uh, interactive reading through the uh, the resurrection of Jesus um, and so we've got a few different people who we have uh, playing the different parts um, so uh, I'll pass it over to Chloe for a little bit more instruction on that so Tyson is going to read from Luke chapter 24 which is the resurrection and we have some people playing some core characters basically when your character is called if you can come to the front and you just act out exactly what is happening in the passage, okay? And you give it your theatrical best. There will be an Oscars ceremony at the end. Um, so, yeah, as soon as you kind of hear your character being called, just kind of come up um, and, and start working together. So, uh, the women is going to be, I'm just kind of volunteering people right now. We're going to have Matilda. Um, I'll join Matilda. Charlotte and Janice. We're going to be the women at the tomb, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is we, the tomb here, by the way. Oh, yeah. Right here is the tomb. <laughs> the disciples, Peter and John, I think we're going to have Benny and Oki. Yeah. <laughs> Benny and Oki. <laughs> Obviously, oh, you guys have to decide who's, who's faster. John is the one that wins the running race. So. Oh, uh, we've got 
two angels. That's going to be Jaden and Trevor. Um, yeah. 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 You can't be because they're so angelic. <laughs> um, we are going to have two disciples on the road to Emmaus. That's going to be Abhijit and Adriel. <laughs> Thomas, Doubting Thomas, that's going to be Abilash. Oh, <laughs> oh no, Indian again. Um, Tyson's, Tyson's going to be the narrator, and of course, the main event, um, the risen Jesus is here today in the form of Logan. <laughs> the Oscar? Yes. He got the role. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we'll also, at the moment when Tyson says, I think when the disciples break bread with Jesus, we'll also pause um, for a couple of songs and to have our own communion, and then we'll get back to the rest of the story awesome. as well. So. Oh, so fun. Amen. Go ahead and turn over in your Bibles to Luke chapter 24. And the woman, let's gather, because we're first. And the women come and gather by the two. Can you show the two again? Observe the two. The two. Set the stage. Set the scene. Imagine it is the first morning after Jesus' death, burial, and now coming to find his resurrection. It says in Luke 24, verse 1, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. Angels. 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 Where's angels? They stood like lightning. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. Oh no! But the men said to them, "Why do you look like the, look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee, the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again." Then the women remembered these words. When they came back from the tomb, bye bye angels. <laughs> when they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven. Over here. And to all the others, everyone else who's there. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women, because their words seemed like nonsense. Peter, however, got up. And ran to the tomb. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked over. He saw the strips of linen laying there by, uh, by themselves, and he went away wondering to himself what had happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they wondered to themselves what had happened. What could have happened? <laughs> now on the road to Emmaus. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Good job, running guys. Well done. Although I have to say that you look more like John there because you got that first. <laughs> now the same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus. About seven miles from Jerusalem, they were talking to with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself! <laughs> along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. <laughs> he asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. <laughs> one of them, named Cleopas, asked him, are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened these days? What things? Jesus asked. On, About Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth, he replied. He was a prophet powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and the rules handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. 
Jesus looked very amazed. But he had hoped, we had hoped, that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since this had taken place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that he had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. But they did not see Jesus. He said to them, Jesus said to him, How foolish are you, and how slow to believe all the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the building to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going further. But, but the disciples urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, you guys are still together eating at the table. table. At the table with them, he broke bread and gave thanks, broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were open and they recognized him. And he disappeared from their sight. Disappeared. Jesus, you disappeared from their sight. Wait, where'd Jesus go? Oh my goodness, he disappeared from their sight. Oh my goodness, he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while we talked, uh, while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem, and they found they found the eleven and those who with them disciples over here, over here. They assembled together. They they assembled together. Assembled. Assemble! They assembled together and say, It is true, the Lord has risen, and he has appeared to Simon. Then to the two the two told what had happened on the way, and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Thank you very much. Please be seated to say. Just sing, everybody. Yeah, so since, since, since Jesus broke bread, now is the time where we will sing and then we'll break bread together as well. John, take us to the old rugged cross. On a hill far away, stood an old rugged cross.
24, verse 36. And uh, just disciples, get yourselves ready. While they were still talking about this. So you guys are still talking, disciples. So disciples, back up. Scene. Disciples are still talking to one another. And uh, Jesus, get ready to come onto the scene as well. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. And they were startled and frightened. They, saw, they thought of thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do, your, do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet, and while they were still not, not believing because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? Amen. They gave him a piece of bread. <laughs> and he took it and ate it in their presence. <laughs> he said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled as it is written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms. Then, their, uh, my, they, then he opened their minds and he, then they could understand the scriptures. <laughs> he told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you uh, what my father had promised, and, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them uh, out of the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands, and he blessed them. <laughs> While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they continued, they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Amen. Give a round of applause. Yes, happy. Enjoyable. So there we go. That is the uh, the resurrection story. That is as it happened according to the Gospel of Luke. Um, and uh, just another round of applause for our, our amazing uh, And now what, what we'll do is we'll sing "What Is a Merciful Savior." Um, and just I want us to really be thinking about man how wonderful and merciful our Savior is. Uh, he raised from the dead. He he showed us great mercy on the cross. Uh, God, God, God gave his son for our, our lives so that we could have hope. Um, and so as we sing these next two songs, let's remember what it is that Jesus did for us. And remember that we don't have to, uh, to live in sin any longer, but instead we can be free because of our wonderful, merciful Savior. <clears throat> Merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have thought that a land could rescue the souls of men? Oh, 